Let me tell you a story of mystery and whimsy, of strange beasts called men and the guides who sought to teach them. There was one among these men, Andrea Sandstrup, a tour guide well versed in the ways of the forest, but hopelessly desperate for the admiration of his peers. Hey, Andrea, you have something on your face. Yeah, <laughs> right there. <laughs> you should get that looked at. <laughs> Yea, in this, the grove of learning, did the wicked snake Paul take for prey the innocent but pitiful Andrea. Hi, howdy, everybody. Are we ready to tour the wonderful world of trees? Okay, well, if you have a question at any time, just raise your hand up high. My name's Andrea. And I know that's typically a girl's name, but I'm a boy, and boy, do I feel excited to tell you about trees. Andrea loved his job, and the trees. But above all, he loved the attention. And it's deciduous. Hey, Andrew. It's Andrea. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Your name is a girl, but your face is a dude. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go be cool and have some beers. But you suck, and you're a loser, and you can't come. <laughs> oh, it's a shame, but I got you something. It's a fart! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! God, come on, Tom! It seemed to Andrea that the cruelty of man knew no bounds. It's a fork! <laughs> it's a fork! 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 Here's what I think of your stupid fork! Uh. Ow! Who's there? There's a fork in me. You're a talking tree! With a fork in it? I didn't know you could talk. Well, that's no reason to go sticking forks in people. But you're not a person. Or trees. I'm sorry. I just... This is amazing! I have to show the other tour guides. The look on Paul's stupid face. So glad to see you're happy and all. But I rather enjoyed being a normal, you know, forkless tree. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if you could help me out. Of course, of course. And remove the fork. Oh. Sorry. You know... Oh, no. I was thinking something a little different. Go on. If you could help me impress the tour guides by talking for them... No. I'd be the greatest tour guide of all time. No. And then I could take the fork out afterwards. And everybody wins. Not... No. Or I could just leave it in you. Forever. Well, I could just get someone else to remove the fork. Good luck finding someone. Oh, you there. Could you by any chance help me? You see, a man stuck a fork in me, and all I ask is that you pull it out. It's still me. Oh, damn it. You all look the same. So what do you say? Do we have a deal? Well... And so Andrea and the tree made a deal. Andrea would become a legend among men, and in return, the tree would become forkless once again. And as our tour of the wonderful world of trees comes to an end, we say, hi, howdy, to our last specimen. Uh, if I may, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, I have for you here today the greatest thing ever witnessed by man. A tree? Yes, but not just any tree, a talking tree. As you can see, I stuck a fork into the trunk of this tree. Wait, you put that there? Yes, but that's not important. So, you, you, you desecrated the tree? What? No, 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 that's 
not. You just, uh, you just said that you did. Yeah, yeah. you literally just, just okay, said that. I cannot ridiculous. believe you would do okay, something Okay, everybody, like just this. listen. Yes, I stuck a fork into the trunk of the tree, but that's not important. What's important is that this tree can talk. Just listen. Help. This tree hating freak is torturing me with a fork. Oh he God. purposely oh said that. Somebody up the tree! <sighs> Help! It hurts. It feels like metal daggers. Okay, tearing right, into sorry me. about the confusion, everybody. We will end this tour early. Have a good day. Hi, howdy! And so it came to be that Andrea was a tour guide no longer. Andrea, you're fired. Hi, howdy! For it was because Andrea had sought to further himself at the expense of others that he was made to look the fool. And wait, where was I? Oh yes, the moral of the story is is the moral of the story, I suppose, is that trees shouldn't talk. Good, I can tell you're a quick learner.